any message for motorcyclists in India from directly from you? Well, you know, we keep keep riding. <laughs> keep riding. It's a true privilege to be had in Dainese. Yes. Uh, I think, as you mentioned, uh, my, my previous uh, uh, career with Ducati, so uh, it, it is a big difference with, with Danese that we know, all of us, yes. we know that uh, you know, we come to work every day and even a little bit of what we do yes. contributes to, to helping people enjoy the sports they love yes. and keep them safe yes. while they do that. It makes a huge difference to me. Now check this out. This is a Danese warehouse and as far as I can see, I mean this is literally crazy. Just have a look at this. My God. Oh. And so everything is automated and this gives me a whole new perspective of how big uh, Danese actually is. Now look at that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> This is unbelievable. <laughs> so, these suits are going to protect someone around the world, we don't know who. But this is crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. So, around 50,000 cells here. This is Valentino Rossi's own completely automated robot which carries around stuff. Okay. And then the other great champion for Danese, Augustini. With his signature, it's here. So guys, these people are crazy. I mean, Danis, who founded this, uh, he himself designed everything. And the story behind these two robots is that initially the, the motorcycling suits, they were supposed to be black. Uh, they were black. And then um, the demand or the idea of making them colorful, uh, it started. And these machines, they were also black. And then they were painted in these... Uh, uh, official Augustini and uh, Valentino Rossi colors. So this is what uh, they signify and these are the two greatest champions for Danese and that's why and they also have a kind of a what do you call um, a competition between them a race over here on the floor. So that's also interesting but it's not going to happen right today. But anyway so this is a very big place and there are thousands and thousands of uh, brand new stuff waiting to be shipped automatic all around the world and this is a warehouse from the outside and it's called the black cube again looks like something out of the matrix oh. how important is uh, Valentino Rossi for Danese and AGV because personally I'm a Valentino Rossi fan as millions are and uh, will it make a difference when he retires and also, like, does he have an active contribution in making, developing the gear and the helmet? Yeah, you, you know, I'm a, I'm a great Valentino fan. Yes. So, so we all are here. Yeah. Uh, but it's worth, it's worth mentioning that uh, Danese comes before Valentino. Yes. And will be here when Valentino stops racing. Yes. Danese was here when uh, Giacomo Agostini was racing. Yes. And he's still here after Giacomo Agostini retired. Yes. You know, Danese has been protecting all motorcycle champions yeah. for well over 40 years, now almost 50 years. Yes. So, if, you know, we have to make a clear distinction between one of our friends and yes. partners and the company itself. You know, uh, 
uh, we truly value Valentino. He's a friend. Uh, and we will continue to be partners long after he decides to stop racing. You know, we will always be part of our family. And Dainese will continue to be the driving force in protecting you know, people that like us yes. truly love uh, dynamic sports. And this is the two-piece leather suit, mistral they call it. And I think this looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, I usually prefer leather even on my long rides because you never know where you run into a track and you want to go on the track and you cannot because you're wearing a textile jacket and trousers. So, and uh, especially in Europe because there are a lot of tracks if you're riding around Europe. So I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, it's fitting so well. Alright guys, so this is the Dainese headquarters and you can see the names of uh, the meeting rooms and this place here is uh, sort of the pantry for people who work here in Dainese. Uh, it's quite uh, tastefully designed and then here if you're a gym freak you can go to the D gym and uh, this is a great workplace it seems so no one here right now obviously everyone is busy making developing product and this is me with the new gear that i picked up in milan so guys right now i am in dar which is right in front of the global headquarters of Danese. and in front of me is the Danese and agv history wall which starts right from 1972 which is Satanda Due which is also the name of one of the collections commemorating the founding year of Danese. So that is when Lino Danese founded the company and then in uh, 1979 and all these things in red is, are actually the most important. For example this is when the back, the first back protector was developed and there are a lot of things which are there like for example when the first time with Kevlar carbon reinforcements a glove came out and then of course you have the association with a lot of people like Valentino Rossi over there and you know and like for example in 2005 they're saying that Valentino Rossi became the motorcycle safety testimonial for Dainese. So this is how Dainese started with the speed demon and then it has, in 1981 it went to this with some narrow eyes and then in 2005 this is the final logo as you see it. So there you go, you know now, this is not a fox, this is actually a speed demon. Alright. So, on my left the reason why Dainese was born is that Lino Dainese started, started from here, this very place and he did this entire Europe trip on a scooter which is sitting here and then he realized that he wanted something much more which was available in places like England because here Italy did not produce leathers so this is the AGV helmet which Lino Danese actually wore and you can see AGV putting putting both helmet worn by Lino during his London trip in 1968 and then he decided that he wants to develop something here in Italy and these are all the the prototypes the first leather prototype and he used to actually design with newspapers if you can see it shows 24th December 1971 he actually used this newspaper to design because uh, leather was very expensive back then this is the motorcycle of course Augustini's motorcycle and Augustini is perhaps the first rider to sign up with uh, Dainese and there is his suit and this section consists of all the suits worn by the world champions the best riders that have Dainese with them but first I want to show you this 
this is the wall of uh, inspiration from nature, as Danes you want to call it. And this is an armadillo, which hardly anyone, you know, people have seen in real, at least I haven't, but this is basically a preserved one, it's a real one. So you can see the Danese back protector has been actually been inspired by the scales on the armadillo at the back. So all the ra main races are listed, Barry Sheen, Kenny Roberts, and uh, so Freddie Spencer, a lot of you know these races they have not raised in our times or when we were you know, little. And Loris Caprossi, Kevin Schwantz, Fugati, Max Biaggi, Jorge Lorenzo, Marco Simoncelli. Well, this is something because the way he left us behind. And of course, Valentino Rossi. But I need to go back to show you something very interesting. And before that, probably I can show you this wall of all the Valentino Rossi helmets. And that's Uccio, Uccio, his childhood friend. It's quite beautiful. And this is, of course, Valentino Rossi himself. Oh, and this is me. Alright, so now I'm going to show you something which is very interesting. And uh, I've never, I imagine that, I mean that is for me is the best part in this whole thing. And this is uh, the Aprilia, um, written by Max Biaggi. Beautiful bike. Alright, are you ready for this? Maybe from here. So this is called La Foresta delle Tute, which means the forest of leathers. And if you go inside, I mean, be ready for this, right? Have a look at this. These are leathers right from the point, the year where Danish started making them for racers. They haven't actually worn by real racers, as you can see, by the usage. And they have protected all these racers for so many years. And apparently Danizy takes back uh, one of the suits after every season and they keep them here. This is a gold mine. This is absolutely mind blowing. It is mind blowing in the truest sense. And of course this can you imagine is actually a real suit worn by Rossi himself is crazy and imagine he had a crash on this it saved him and when you think of it riding gears are so important and this is it's like holding the real deal like it's like this is what has the sweat of valentino rossi valentino rossi was in this suit and in this one and of course, it's not only about Rossi, it's like about anyone who has ever raced in MotoGP is supposed to be revered. It's like deep respect. Oh my God. I'm going to pull back. This is amazing. I'm going to take one round with my face on it, with my face in the camera. I don't care if you like it or not, but I feel so much energy in this room. All these people talking, all these suits talking about the movements when the racers had their fall in them. This is crazy. Alright guys, so that was the forest of leathers and that was mind-blowing. But what is more mind-blowing is this. This was actually made by Danizy to open the 2006 Winter Olympics. And they actually adapted this helmet 
to get a flamethrower and with this bag which probably contained the fuel and this actually worked it actually threw flames and just look how futuristic this is looking God, these people are innovative. This is the Isle of Man TT section and this is the exact helmet, glove and back protector which Guy Martin was wearing when he had that infamous crash, the fireball crash and of course this has a lot to do with him being safe. And there's a nice 3D topography projection of the Isle of Man TT here. And then you have in this room the evolution of the gloves right from just the leather inserts all the way to the full metal with the Kevlar and carbon fiber. And this is how the helmets are designed uh, to be more the maximum aerodynamic. Uh, this one I've got I'm glad to own one of these. So there's a wealth of information here. And guys, this suit is actually called the Procom. So basically, they measure humidity, temperature, heart rate, GPS trackers, and all of these. They're they're you know connected with the human body. And racers, they actually use this suit in tests to send data back to Denizi, which they probably use to make the suits better. And then the Paris Dakar Rally, they also have a very good history with the Paris Dakar rally and it's very interesting to see uh, this room which looks like a meeting room and uh, with all sort of developmental material and apparently there's a fashion show with the uh, Denizi gears. <sighs> There's so much. I've had a long day today. There's still a little bit more to go. So Denizi also has been is being used by mountain cyclists and uh, skiers. So you can see skiers they started using the back protectors. So what Denizi did is that they started making some more equipment for them probably like the helmets as well. So in uh, the last so many years uh, uh, with Denizi and AGV, if we were to ask you to mention the two most important events or achievements, uh, what would they be? Well, I think, I think Denizi from its inception in the early 70s uh, has invented everything that uh, was to be invented in protecting motorcyclists yes. and not only motorcyclists. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, skiers or uh, sailors now lately with uh, well, the American Cup. Oh. Uh, you know, we, we were partnered with the American uh, Emirates in New Zealand in the America's Cup, mm -hmm. and we protected them while they won the, won the cup. Uh, I, I think there is a number of uh, inventions that that is brought to the market, but certainly the most relevant is the is the airbag technology. Yes. The, the technology that we apply to motorcycling and skiing to protect uh, a, a growing number, a growing number of uh, sports people while they enjoy what they love, which is okay. uh, riding bikes or skiing. Okay. Now talking about deer, this is what probably Denizi, Lino Denizi wanted, like a deer coming out of the neck, uh, the airbag that is, and. Uh, Obviously, it's not the safest place to put an airbag. So hence, and this is of course, this is actually a Denizy helmet. They don't sell Denizy helmet in too many countries. And then there is a company called Merav. That's an uh, Israeli company. And they set up a deer prototype for street use, which was designed in cooperation with Merav. So this is the first prototype in 2000. And then in 2006, they successfully tested the deer, as you can see.
And this is not a joke because this can actually save lives. This section, which I'm going to show you next, is actually pretty interesting. Because uh, Lino Denizi, he sold his 80% of the company Denizi to uh, an investment firm, if I'm not wrong. And then he started something called the D Air Lab, which essentially does uh, research or like applies the technology in various environments. This is for old aged people. So if you fall with this, it will send out an SMS and your current location and other things, you know, which can be very helpful in case of an emergency for uh, with old people. As you can see, this is how it will inflate. And it also protects the head like this, because then, of course, you're not wearing a helmet when you're when an old you know person might fall, as you will shortly see in this video. So not only the airbag inflates, they also apparently, I mean, they inflate at the right places like hips and femur is protected, then head, spinal cord, shoulders, and they also, and the head, and they also send out uh, an SMS, an automatic SMS call, light and sound alarm system. This is pretty crazy. This is actually saving lives in the real world outside of motorcycling. And this also was developed for construction workers with the, in association with NL. Now this one is pretty interesting. So um, Denizy also is developing suits for the Mars mission. So that, how did NASA tie up with Denizy and uh, what are the repercussions? of the technology uh, or, or the learnings with NASA for real motorcyclists like on the road, if any? Well, you know, the, the NASA has been researching the needs of the human body in extreme conditions for almost 50 years now. Yes. You know, whether it's motorcycling, skiing, and sailing, or horseback riding, cycling, what we do, we, we look at the needs of the human body in those extreme conditions. Yes. And as we do that, Project after project, we learn more yes. about ergonomics, about the needs of the human body. And when, when the time comes from different uh, endeavors to, to deal with extreme other, our kind, other kinds of extreme conditions, then some, some, of, some of them, they look at us as experts on the human body and the, ergo, the ergonomy that goes with it. So for example, MIT, we work yes. with MIT for this NASA project. You know, they're, they're developing a suit that is a new concept suit okay. for, for the, the exploring Mars. So they came to us to help them making that a viable proposition since we know wow. so yeah. much about the human body. Yeah. And the same happens with the Eurosp European Space Agency, yeah. which had the, an idea on how to limit the effect of uh, lack of gravity during extended periods of time in space. Yes. So they come to us, we help them in the process. And as we do that, we learn even more. Yeah. We learn even more about the human body, even more about the needs of the human body in extreme yeah. condition. So for example, uh, during the MIT project for NASA, we learned about the, the lines of non-extensions, okay. which are lines that you can uh, theoretically design around the human body, which do not change in length, okay. regardless of the body movement. Oh. And that's a learning that uh, it was extremely interesting for us. And we apply that, for example, to our uh, technical uh, touring gear. So that we can, for example, design a jacket which is super snugly fit. Yes. Very tight, yes. but perfectly allows you to do any movement that you desire. Uh -huh. So look at the Antarctica, for example, the yes. Antarctica project. That's a, exactly one of the learnings we applied. It's called the BioSuit uh, for 2030. And this is supposed to look like something like this. So right now astronauts have to wear something like this and then they will be wearing something like this. And then this is also there. Uh, this is actually being used right now as we speak. And uh, this is all called the skin suit, which is designed to reproduce the effects of gravity on Earth. 
So the basically the lack of which might call uh, co I mean, might cause um, deterioration of the neuroskeletal structure of a human body. So guys, that is it, and so much goes behind making of a suit riding gear. It's incredible what you can do with it. Now we are going to see the D store. Um, so does Denizy also plan to get into car space probably F1, NASCAR or you know if you're already there because like sailing I, mean, I don't know about that. Yeah we, we are not pl planning to do that at the moment okay. but it's certainly a natural yeah. next step for us. Okay so uh, which is the uh, bigger market for Denizy in AGV as of today and uh, which is the most promising one? Well it we distribute our products in uh, basically 100 countries. Okay. So it's a pretty global. We are pretty global brands, both Daniels yes. and EGV. Uh, Europe remains a larger market. Yes. And and within Europe, there's many different uh, countries with Italy, Germany, yes. and Spain being the largest markets for us. Yes. But but also North America and Asia are, are becoming very relevant for yes. Daniels, and we're growing very fast. Yes. Especially in, in most Asian countries. So yeah, we look uh, we look at pretty widespread uh, okay. widespread continued growth, thanks to the products and the distribution improvements. Okay, uh, Cristiano, uh, considering countries like India and others in Southeast Asia are like hot, and uh, for the better part of the year, is there a product that you think you can develop, you know, to keep uh, to have like something which which can have active cooling, rather than you know cooling by air? Uh, is there something on the cards? It is something that we're looking at. Okay. You know, it's not not it's not so easy. No, of course it's not. As a technology, <laughs> but we're looking on something that might do the effect. Right. So, Cristiano, uh, as a motorcyclist, which road is your favorite? Anyone that has a lot of turns. Yes. And uh, which bike would you like to ride on that road? <laughs> Multistrada. Wow. And of course, uh, you would be wearing the Antarctica. If I'm not wrong, <laughs> it's cold enough. Yes, yeah. so otherwise one of the other jackets we have, we have a number of good ones. And uh, you know, um, if there was one person from Hollywood, I mean, you can choose not to answer. Who would you like to get up with, uh, like the person, the, the the actor or the actress, with Danyzi and HGV? Well, you know, I, I think there is a number of actors already that they already yes. choose us as, uh, you know, the. The gear for their yes. and they do it independently. Yes. Uh, in a way, we we do not very much look into um, um, having our 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 brand uh, displayed. Yes. Just just because we need the brand to be displayed. Absolutely. We yeah. want people, including celebrities, yes. to choose us because of yes. what we do. Yes. And then decide independently to affiliate. Yes. with us and we have plenty of them they, they do that i mean just a couple of names come to mind tom hardy yes he's a great fan of ours and we are obviously reciprocate uh, and we, we think he's a fantastic fantastic person and and, and great actor and and uh, the ma many others in hollywood yes. obviously they, they follow the trend so guys this is one of the largest d stores perhaps the largest d store in the world and behind me you can see actual racing suits that all the legends wore. And here, Denizy has been around since 45 years and AGV since 70 years. So these people, they actually know what they are doing. So I'll just quickly take you around uh, this place. And uh, this place is actually a shrine because this is where after doctors, I mean, before doctors. Okay, let me actually put this way. This is what prevents you from going to a doctor. So along with a doctor, these people are actually gods because they protect us. So we have to be really, really thankful to them. And just everywhere, look around me. There's so much stuff. And from jackets to bags, wind cheaters, helmets, gloves, boots, all sort of colors.
I've never even seen that one before. And this is wonderful. So guys, uh, this is another dream come true because here it's where everything is born as far as uh, the best riding gear in the world is concerned. And they also say that Valentin Rossi also comes here a couple of days in a year. And so do other riders who are uh, part of the Danese crew. And my god, look at that helmet. So I'm like a kid in a candy store here. And well, I didn't know they also make this. Isn't this beautiful? This is absolutely fantastic. I've never seen this. Wow. And this color. Beautiful. Anyway, so uh, let us try and customize something. Okay. Well, I am. Uh, I hope India is there. No. Why is India not there? Okay, never mind. We'll choose an English speaking country. All right. Now, suit. I have this one. So let's select this one. Oh. It has to be perforated. Okay. Well, I'll choose custom. I'll be loading. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. So you can make stuff like that. Okay, it's here. So essentially, uh, let me choose shoulder plate. Click on the accessory. Okay, I want to modify this and i want blue okay and the logo i want this to be blue as well and this 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 wow and this maybe a deeper blue and this maybe a yellow and this maybe a red i'm going to make this very colorful now and this green so guys, basically you can change any color that you want and you can directly order online from the company. And if you've got a motorcycle or a race or anything, you can actually get original Danese customized you know, leathers like these, which are not available uh, from anywhere in the shop. Let me also show you what bike I'm riding, finally. So I'm riding the T-Max. No, no, I'm just joking. All right, this is what I'm riding. So this is a turbocharged 1500cc, 140 horsepower trike. And it's pretty fun. It's a lot of fun to ride. It's from a company called Rivaco. It's a German company. 